Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about 1940's The Great Dictator, starring Charlie Chaplin as Hinkle and a Jewish barber. In The Great Dictator, as Hinkle tries to expand his empire, a Jewish barber tries to escape persecution from his regime. And so we have The Great Dictator. So guys, today's review was requested by no one. This one I just wanted to talk about because yeah, it's on the poster, so I'm going to talk about it. And going into this one, I didn't really know all that much about it. All I knew is that... Uh, Charlie Chaplin plays a parody of Hitler, and also it contains his great movie speech. Apart from that, nothing about it. Going into this one as well, I was really hoping that the rest of the movie was as good as Charlie Chaplin's speech at the end of the film. So, what did I think of The Great Dictator? Well, the first thing I would say that actually did surprise me about this film was actually how funny it was. Mainly because I didn't think this film was going to delve much into comedy. I thought that it was going to be more of a straight-up drama. That Chaplin was going to really step out of his comfort zone and do something a little bit different to what he'd been doing for pretty much most of his life. However, in actual fact, I feel that Chaplin did a really great job of blending the two together. Because the film is really hard-hitting and emotional when it needs to be. And at the same time, it's really funny as well. Chaplin manages to fit in a lot of the slapstick that he's really known for. And at the same time as well, the dialogue scenes are really funny as well. I'm not sure if this was Chaplin's first film where he actually you know, speaks in the film. But you know what? He did a really great job with the dialogue in this film as well. And also the fact that he plays two characters in the film as well. is nothing to scoff at. I mean, I would say that obviously the standout character that he plays in the film is Hinkle. It's really the character that you come to watch the film for, and you feel it's the one that he put the most creative effort into. Not that they say that the Jewish barber character isn't good, but really it's the character of Hinkle that steals the show. This character, and pretty much the movie as a whole, is a big middle finger to Hitler. And it's made even more powerful by the fact that this film was made while Hitler was still conquering Europe. And as for the supporting characters, all really great as well. Another standout character for me was the parody of Mussolini. Pretty much made as funny as it is because it is just a completely terrible, bad stereotype. And just the scenes where he and Hinkle are together, just trying to prove to each other who's the bigger, stronger, smarter man. These scenes are just hilarious. And a lot of the scenes where Chaplin tries to show how ridiculous he thought Hitler was were just really funny as well. Especially the scene where he's dancing with a globe. Hilarious and poignant as well. But really, the main reason I would say that most people come to watch this film, other than, you know, its actual quality, because this is a good film, is the speech that Chaplin gives at the end of the film. Now, I will say the actual way in which they actually get to this scene was a little bit clunky. Because pretty much leading up to it, the Jewish barber and his officer friend get captured by Hinkle's regime. They end up in the camp. And then you see him like right into his sweetheart, you know, the woman he loves. And, and uh, pretty much one of the next times you see him, though, after that, they just kind of escape. You don't really see how they do it or anything like that. And it's a shame because, you know, I was getting really invested in this story. And I just wanted to kind of see, you know, how they did it. I thought it would have been a really great chance to show even more slapstick. But nevertheless, the speech itself. I do think it's a little ironic how Chaplin was known as one of the greatest silent movie stars of all time. And yet, he gives one of the greatest movie speeches of all time as well. You can just tell a lot of heart, soul, energy, and belief just goes into these words. Though I will say, as great as this speech was, it did lose a little bit of power for me. Because of two reasons. The first one being, I'd heard the speech before, so the spontaneity of the speech was lost. But that's not really the major thing. The major thing for me is the fact that hardly anything has changed since he's made this speech. I mean, 81 years later, and we're still doing the things that he didn't want us to do. But that in itself is what makes the speech great as well. The fact that you can listen to this speech today, and it carries more or less the same weight. In certain aspects, this film is quite dated because, you know, it is over 80 years old. But there are quite a lot of scenes mainly the speech, that feel so timeless. And at the same time, makes this film really accessible. Overall, guys, The Great Dictator was a very enjoyable film. Chaplin put his heart and soul into this film. He had a lot to say. The supporting cast were great as well. The slapstick comedy was on point. The story itself was really poignant and had a lot to say. And if nothing else, you know, just enjoyable film. But do I think you guys should watch this one? You know what? I would recommend it. Though, this isn't the film that I would watch over and over again. I'm happy to say that I've watched it, but I wouldn't really go out of my way to watch it again. I enjoyed this film more as a piece of history. The fact that this was made while Hitler was conquering Europe 
is definitely the most interesting part of the film for me. Don't get me wrong, I really like this film, but I enjoyed it more for what it represents, more so than what it actually was. So for those reasons, I would say that you should watch The Great Dictator. Okay guys, that's my review of The Great Dictator. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think I should watch next? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!